Welcome to part three of the video. It's malware bytes full. Uh, malware detection and removal review. I had to do a quick scan because I uh, thought that maybe there was some malware left behind because I saw quite a bit of uh, website redirection, query redirection in um, Internet Explorer. So we found one object. I'll show the result. Uh, basically says uh, it's a registry value, so that's not what I was looking for. We'll go ahead and open up Internet Explorer again. And Explorer has crashed in the background and it's restarting. We'll go ahead and do the same search. Search for AVG. Go. We're trying to get to free.avg.com. And it loads OK. Sometimes it loads OK and sometimes it doesn't. So that's sort of sort of confusing. Normally what will happen is it won't load at all or it will load perfectly. And that's all I see usually. I mean so far it looks like everything's loading fine and normal. If I try to go to download.com everything's coming up just perfect. So I couldn't say with certainty whatever was in there um, <clears throat> is gone now, but it sure kind of looks like it. So browsing seems to be normal. No fake system alerts down here. No pop-ups. Um, malware bytes pro absolutely removed everything that is apparent to me. Um, I can't really see any any viewable evidence that there's anything on here. Now we do have a little remo a little prevention test here. I have two archives here that contain XP Antivirus 2008, I believe. If I try to open up these archives, run, um, <laughs> I thought in one of my earlier tests it actually Malwarebytes actually popped open a window and said this is an infected archive, but uh, it looks like it's just gone now. I can see my hard drive activity is just flat out maxed out right now, so it's doing something. Oh. Update.exe is running, so it's doing Windows updates automatically. And unfortunately, it's leaving this scan two thing go. Yeah, I was pretty sure it caught all that stuff before. Maybe there's nothing in there. Maybe I already got rid of whatever was inside there. I don't know. I can't really remember. can't find it. <clears throat> oh well, but anyway. If I uh, go ahead and show you guys the CPU usage, uh, you can see it's kind of up high right now. That's because Windows updates are running. And that little guy's running there too. I have no idea what that is. I thought it was a rogue, but I guess not. Go ahead and close uh, Internet Explorer. Let's take a look at RAM usage. The MBAM service uses 15 megabytes of RAM. 
It's barely anything really. And um, what else can I say about this? Uh, hold on, let me pause the video and see what time I'm at here. All right, five minutes. Okay, well, not really much else to show you. It just does its job. Um, it goes on real quick. It's real small. It only cost you 25 bucks. Um, and it removes everything that I can actually see. I mean, I have no idea if there's stuff, you know, in the background running, like, you know, a little Windows hook or something like that. But everything in here looks pretty much normal. Um, except I have that Internet Explorer hanging open there. Let me close that. And I can't tell if that's a piece of malware that's that kept Internet Explorer running or it was just hanging up. So no way to tell. Um, like I said, I use malware bytes every day. I use super anti spyware every day. Those are my two main anti malware programs. And I love them both. So uh, my uh, recommendation is that you buy both of them. <laughs> They don't take much to run, and if uh, you load both of these guys and you have, uh, you know, both the real-time modules, it's pretty much impossible to get infected with that, with anything. I mean, they, these, in my opinion, the malware bytes and the super anti spyware, they're 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 at the top of the hill right now for me and for a lot of people. There's over two million downloads for malware bytes now. Uh, that's that's a that's a lot. So, and. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I know I'm kind of like spaced out, but I've been working all nighters the whole weekend on an email server issue, so that's what I've been up to. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow up this with um, a super anti spyware scan, and um, that will be. I'm going to try to fit that on the same uh, review, so let me pause the video. Be right back. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and do a full scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware. I've already updated it just a second ago. So, Alright, um, Super Anti Spyware finished its scan, found two memory items detected, 53 files, 27 registry entries, and uh, the total files uh, were 83. Uh, the one that I was most concerned about would be something running in RAM or memory and what I'm gonna do is gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove all this stuff and then I'll post this log on my blog uh, once again that's remove dash malware dot com and you can kinda see what um, malware bytes missed and what they might need to uh, take a look at so I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop this review now and you can be uh, the judge. I'm going to go ahead and upload it right now, and uh, we'll talk about it on the blog. Talk to you later.